a bit easier. I don't really quite have a high opinion of himself and his abilities. <laughs> Change bit on that one. Slightly concerned about the grey walls, but um, I'm, I'm kind of picking colourful ones and troubling ones. Why do you, what about you with the grey walls? You think it's a bit dreary? Uh, well, I use quite a lot of grey in my pictures to kind of. Well, know. they look great on that wall. Yeah, but there is. Do you think grey it camouflages in there. them? Uh, well, I think they disappear slightly. I mean, they're meant for white. I think I have, I have real trouble with my paintings, but when I'm doing it, I'm very happy. Yeah. But then I stand back and look at it and go, uh oh. But that might be that might be the bit of the uh, maybe the standing back is the problem. What I do is because I've got a very small studio and I don't return to it each week and mm. usually the paintings disappear behind another one. Mm. So I never have to I never have this thing of feeling that I've it's many of my responsibility. I think trouble yeah. trouble is good. Because yeah, because you're not bored, mm. you know, with trouble. Mm. And that's I think boring art is is everywhere. Yeah. And, and, you know, that is, it seems to me that's my job, to try and do something interesting. If something is pretending to be something, it's much better. The faux version is much better than the real version, because the real version, uh, I would say, uh, has lumps of, like the real bread, has lumps of millstone in it, and no one wants to break their teeth, so the homogenised, nice, safe version mm -hmm. um, that says it all the right things on the packet, but it's actually very easy to digest, mm -hmm. because it doesn't challenge you in any way, or... Or, mm -hmm. or give you any fibre or anything to actually shit out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why it's so sort of like pallid. I think with the modern art thing, it's kind of it, it's all interesting and fine, but the, the downside is the inheritors of the model. You know, the you know we hear that you know, the Wallace collection has just kind of put on Damien Hirst's new paintings. It's cappuccino sales, mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, yeah. the, the, the whole art world now is just one big cafe. Yeah. And what, what does it have to really do in terms of the world and kind mm -hmm. of for individuals, for, you know, for, for well-being, you know? Yeah, it doesn't but cappuccino, you can say it's not the art world, it's, it's a society. Yeah. We've got people who make cappuccino yeah. and people who drink it. And, you don't, and there's no one who can actually sort of uh, mend the fridge or anything or do anything mm -hmm. useful. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you how do you see yourself in terms of painting, and where are your ambitions and things? My ambitions. Yeah. Um, for your work and well, really, probably quite s very ambitious, but not in a small way. So, like I was like I meant to not have, be sort of wanting to. I don't chase money mm -hmm. or status mm -hmm. as my chief goal. No, Is that because you have enough? No, no, I've mm -hmm. never really. No, I don't. I've always been very suspicious of those things, mm. and that's why I so like uh, um, I've turned down quite a few things and not mm. followed through with those things in areas where I could, because I find it um, humiliating. And what I really want is yeah. to. I see it more of a looking at a legacy and a model. So my, you know, as far as torchbearers would go, Vandal would be my ideal model because I'd like to sort of like pass on that. Um, engagement and love of something that helps you find yourself mm -hmm. and to be a model of that for um, people of a like mind and uh, help people understand that you find yourself through doing things when a, when a thing is made well i think it spreads joy i think it brings yeah. joy and um there's no point in making anything that's terrible anymore and then, and then, yeah. just, 
Unless got it, enough rubbish. Unless it's uh, the main thing is when something that you know I can deal with rubbish as long as someone doesn't try to tell me it's good. Yeah, you I mean know, I deal with I can deal with it. This is banged together because it's banged together, but don't try and tell me it isn't. Yeah, I mean you know that it's something. Yeah, don't try and I don't like being hoodwinked. No, do you think your work is good? Because I I, I sometimes I sometimes think mine is completely a waste of time and. Uh, I sometimes think, God, it's really awful. Most of the time I don't. Yeah. And most of the time I think, you know, I'm onto something or I just, I'm just enjoying myself and yeah. it's part of my daily ritual that I really enjoy. Yeah. Uh, but then I have my moments and I just think, God, you know, why am I doing this? And, and does it really communicate? And I think art is a, um, is a nice prop sometimes. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I mean, I, the way I see it is we, <coughs> We're still living in our, our little caves. Okay, they're a bit more geometric, yeah. and um, it's just, for me, it's become decoration. And, and um, but interesting decoration. And don't forget, that's the other thing because mm. people undervalue decoration. Decoration is like, I mean, if the mark of God is decoration mm. and hidden decoration as well. And I suppose art is often trying to um, can so often be about the artist trying to feel okay and the audience trying to feel okay. And that's why it so often is an art. <laughs> and I, I would even say that like things like what Hearst does are really on that level, mm. you know. And also this sort of manufactured sort of, um, uh, well, what, you know, when people, it's like when, they, when people have, um, well they have the term deal with things, which means that they're not, because whatever people say it is, it isn't. So when they say it's dealing with something, it, which for sure it isn't dealing with death, this and the other. It just sort of uh, often is about death, mm. <laughs> you know. I mean, the death of the art, uh, the, uh, the the death of the, uh, the the death of the art in the artist, maybe rather than death as a experience that we all have to face one day. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, when you when you can verbalise your painting, then it's really not worth doing. Is it, you know? Don't you think if you can just say. I'm going to paint a man in a field. Well, I suppose it depends, yeah, in a sense, but often people show what they don't want to. And I suppose that's what we talk about, really. in a way, there's sort of like, like, like this modern art shows what it doesn't want to show. It's the opposite of what it says it is. 